I give you instructions. I want you to obey my commands at all times. Punches here are good. Punches here are good. Good luck to you. Take love. The confrontation between Corey Sanders and the Klitschko brothers has become one of the most memorable events in the modern history of heavyweight boxing. I cannot see the left hand that Sanders is hitting him with. And he's attacking to try to get out of trouble instead of holding. And this is not going to go well. Another knockdown, the fourth time, and the referee can never And it all began very calmly and casually. Corey was born in South Africa. Early in his childhood, the boy gravitated to sports. His father, a former professional boxer, gave his son the right to choose which sport he wanted to pursue. Sanders tried football, tennis, and golf. However, in the end, it would seem that boxing was in his blood, and the young man completely focused on the art of using his fists. The results were not long in coming. He won every possible local tournament in Africa. In the 90s, African fighters did not have access to international competitions. Corey got married and started a family, and financial issues soon came to the forefront. He worked as a police officer in a local police station, where he received good money. But the quiet, calm life of a family man did not attract Sanders. He dreamed of fame. In 1989, he made his debut in the professional ring. The first successes in the South African rings allowed the fighter to demonstrate his skills in America. These bouts paid little, but Corey knew that they would only sharpen his skills. Victories would lead him to bigger fights. And where there are big fights, there will always be sponsors and substantial fees. Sanders' crown was his left straight. Left-handed heavyweights are rare in occurrence. In 1992, left-hander Michael Moore defeated Burt Cooper and became the first ever left-handed heavyweight champion. A year later, Corey repeated the success of Michael Moore and knocked out Burt Cooper in the third round. In 2000, Corey received a defeat in a fight with Haseem Rahman. At this point, he rarely went into the ring. In the past three years, he had fought only twice. But now, fate gave him a chance. The 27-year-old WBO world champion, Vladimir Klitschko, needed a safe opponent. Vladimir and his trainer, Fritz Zdunek, decided to hold the sixth defense of the belt and then take a break before possible bigger fights in the future. The choice fell to the 37-year-old Corey, who was number nine in the WBO rating. It was a typical situation, a young champion against a veteran who has long gone into the shadow. In 99% of such cases, confrontations will end in the favor of the youth. This was the exception that made boxing so interesting. Vladimir was considered a rising superstar. He was an Olympic champion, a professional world champion. He had stumbled only once in a duel with Ross Purity. Many boxing experts attributed that defeat to the Ukrainians' inexperience. Klitschko literally crushed the entire old guard of the heavyweight division. Chris Boyd, Axel Schultz, Francois Botha, Ray Mercer, Jamil McCline. All of them were forced to capitulate under the fierce attacks of the Ukrainian heavyweight. Before the fight with Sanders, Vladimir signed an exclusive contract for nine battles with the HBO channel. They talked about the battles of the younger Klitschko against Mike Tyson and Lennox Lewis. His brother, Vitali was number one in the WBC ratings. Their brothers were based out of Germany. Their plan was extremely simple to capture all the leading titles of the heavyweight division. In 2000, Vitali had been defeated in the ninth round during a fight with Chris Bird. Vitali was injured in his left shoulder and was forced to withdraw. 
Six months later, Vladimir had avenged his brother, beat the American, and returned the WBO belt to the Klitschko family. Who would have thought that after March 8, 2003, it would be Vitaly who would be forced to intercede for his younger brother? Sanders, despite numerous downtimes and injuries, approached the battle in great shape. Spectators in the arena in Hanover, Germany, were waiting for a spectacle, and they got it. I want to obey my command at all times. Punches here are good. Punches here are good. Good luck to you. Stay low. Vladimir Klitschko seems so perfect, you wonder what's wrong with him. In the very first round, the Ukrainian champion ended up on the floor twice from smashing left blows. If he goes down again, although the clock is running out on this round. So Vladimir Klitschko is down twice in the opening round against Kodu in this situation. He was able to come back and knock Sanders out. Now Klitschko's down a third time, and there are two minutes, 53 seconds to go in this round. And he's not the left hand that Sanders is hitting him with. And he's attacking to try to get out of trouble instead of holding. At the beginning of round two, there was another knockdown and the fight was stopped. Sanders fulfilled his dream and became the new world heavyweight champion and the third left-handed holder of the main royal weight award, following in the footsteps of Michael Moore and Chris Bird. Still not much sweat on him at all. Leaving out of the dressing room, waiting for the shoulder in. Body is dry as a bone. The boxing world got surprised. Vitaly was beside himself with rage, watching the defeat of his younger brother. He got into a heated verbal skirmish with Corey, promising to return the title to the family. Sanders, however, was calm. The victory over Vladimir opened the way for him to big money battles against the best boxers in the world. And uh, for me it means uh, welcome to the boxing business because all big champions was losing the fights. And uh, so it's happening. And of course I will give my best and I will uh, have a rematch with Corey Sanders and uh, then I will show what I can do. A mandatory contender for the WBO title was Lamont Brewster, but Corey longed for a super fight against David Tua. His plans were not destined to come true. Shortly before the fight with Klitschko, Sanders signed a contract with the German promotion company Universe. However, Corey's former manager, Rodney Berman, had other plans. Sensing the benefits, he restored friendly relations with his former ward and promised the champion that he would organize a super fight against Tua. This led to a conflict between the WBO and the company Universal. A long legal battle began. As time went on, Sanders' triumph began to be forgotten. Muddy water Berman turned away from his ward. Corey refused to do battle against Lamont Brewster and Frey Oquendo. He was stripped of the WBO title due to his long downtime and his seeming inability to enter the ring. In the summer of 2003, Vitali lost to Lennox Lewis in a scandalous battle. Lennox planned revenge, but before they could fight again, he ended his sports career. They're stopping the fight. The fight has been stopped because of the damage to Vitali Klitschko's eye. The elder Klitschko brother remained number one in the WBC rating. Corey was in limbo. He was stripped of his title, his manager left him, and a lawsuit with the company Universal did not allow him to enter the ring. Oddly enough, Lennox Lewis, who retired from fighting, became a manager instead and came to the aid of the African. Lewis and the British lawyers solved Sanders' problems. Lewis arranged for the World Boxing Council to include Corey as a former WBO champion on the list. At that time, the WBC was looking for an opponent for Vitaly Klitschko. The most likely candidate was the third fighter in the rating, John Ruiz. However, Sanders beat everyone and was second in line, thereby becoming a rival of the Ukrainian in the battle for the vacant belt. In the end, all of these intricacies outside of the ring would allow Klitschko Sr. to avenge his younger brother. The World Boxing Council scheduled the fight for the vacant WBC belt on April 24, 2004. 
The audience mercilessly booed Lennox Lewis, who appeared in the Staples Center Hall as the acting manager for Corey. The Americans did not want to recognize Lewis, even as a champion. And as a manager, the audience was ready to tear up the former heavyweight champion. The fact that he had narrowly avoided a rematch with Vitaly also negatively affected the public's attitude towards the British-Canadian Jamaican fighter. Lennox was, and always, arrogantly calm and smiling. He did not doubt his new ward. A lot of positive things and promoting Corey Sanders for the next heavyweight championship fight. Corey Sanders is definitely the next man in line to box Vitaly Klitschko, so I'm here to, to show the world that uh, he's, he's uh, the next man in line and he deserves an opportunity. The boxing experts were at a loss. How would the fight go? Both fighters hit like a cannon. On one hand, Vitaly's chin was stronger than that of his younger brother. On the other hand, nothing had changed for Corey. The brothers were in similar size and in similar boxing style. For Vitaly, it was important to survive through the dangerous first rounds. And he did just that, having survived perhaps the most cruel round in his entire career. Larry Merchant, millions of viewers, and the entire Staples Center were shocked by the power and stamina of the African, which sent Vitaly Klitschko to the floor. It was a knockdown. Referee John Shorl felt that the Ukrainian had slipped. Klitschko understood. It was necessary to tire his opponent, to make him miss, and a dangerous game began. Corey gave it his best. He bet on an early knockout, not counting on having to keep up his strength in later rounds. Out here, the reach advantage comes into play. And the right hand that he is doing depends on one punch. And Sanders having to reach a little farther now. In the third round, the next left bomb fell on Vitaly's chin. And again, the Ukrainian survived. Klitschko's stamina surprised Corey. He was losing strength. Increasingly, his attacks cut through air, not finding a target. The fighter is very tired of his own mistakes. This exhausts fighters faster than missed hits. Sanders is tired, like spent gunpowder. In the fifth round, Vitaly went on the attack. He brought heavy blows to the opponent. However, the African's chin was fine. Corey was ready to endure the beating and wait for his chance. The terrible right hits of Klitschko, which had set previous rivals to the floor, had no effect on Sanders. But the right comes always better. It's is kaum to believe that he still stands, that he doesn't fall down. He looks behind him. mit der Linken. Da war die Rechte nochmal. But the frequency of the attacks did their destructive deed. One of Vitaly's side blows tore the eardrum of the formidable left-hander. Corey did not fall. He was not broken, but the referee decided to stop the beating in round eight. Klitschko became the new world champion, according to the WBC. Corey is fine. He was given an injection in his left ear. He will need time to recover. He's a real warrior, said Lennox Lewis after the fight. I was struck by his stamina. I hit him with my best blows, but he continued to stay on his feet. I hope Sanders is fine. I'm glad that the WBC title belongs to the Klitschko brothers. I want a rematch with Lewis. Vitaly Klitschko after the fight. The epic confrontation between Sanders and the Klitschko brothers came to an end. Vitaly had avenged his younger brother. That people, when they think of Klitschko's now, will think more than one thing they'll think of you. It's not just my dream. It's it's win for two brothers Klitschko, for me and for Vladimir, because I'm more than sure Vladimir will be world champion. Right now, his dream a little bit, he, he has a little bit long distance to his dream, 
and I'm more than sure Vladimir have biggest potential in every way in the world. The winner by knockout victory, and now the WBC heavyweight champion of the world, Vitali Butter. On September 22, 2012, Corey Sanders was shot during an armed robbery at a restaurant in South Africa, where he and his family were celebrating his nephew's birthday. He died in the hospital early the next morning from injuries sustained during the attack. The Klitschko brothers expressed condolences to the family of the African boxer. The Klitschko brothers are gentlemen in and out of the ring. They always avoided squabbles and scandals and sought to demonstrate strength only when fighting in the ring. The same can be said of Corey Sanders. Great confrontations are when there is a lot of drama in the ring and words of respect after the fight. Such moments are remembered and remain forever in the history of boxing. The confrontation between Corey Sanders and the Klitschko brothers is a vivid example of courage in the ring and respect outside of it. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please press the like button, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for new episodes about the great legends of the past.